Hi, my name is Crystal, and I want to talk about VKH, which is called Voikonagi Harada. Um, it's a symptoms that it's something that it's a syndrome that's very unknown. Not a lot of doctors, not too many doctors, know about it. Just to say, if I was to go to the emergency room, they would literally have to look up the the symptoms. Um, there's not too many websites on it, so I'm going to tell you about my story because John Hopkins, the retina specialist that I'm seeing, he said that this is the worst case that he ever had seen. So, the symptoms that I start having, um, it was spots in front of my eyes, um, which is called floaters and I went to the retina specialist well I went to the ophthalmologist and they told me to go to the retina specialist because by the time then my eyesight was getting really bad so when I did get there I couldn't see my hands in front of my face I was literally blind which took two months for me to be completely blind the retina specialist she said that I have uveitis and which of course I don't know what uveitis is I never heard of it never had an eye problem in my life never i always been healthy so this was far beyond me um for this to happen um during that time she put shots in my eye in my left eye and then two or three weeks later followed my right eye now i was in so much pain i've i I didn't even know what was going on. Having pain in your eye, it's like somebody pushing their finger like in your eye. So during that time, I couldn't take it because the shots were not doing any good. So I talked to my aunt and she told me, well, go to John Hopkins. And I should have went there a long time ago maybe it would have saved some of the problems that I'm having now um, which is I went there and I went to the emergency room they told me I had VKH and I was happy but then I was sad and just so many emotions going through like you don't know what's going on or you don't know what's going on with your eye and you don't have no reason why your eyesight should have had just left you know and knowing that I was a healthy young lady 28 just had a child so the doctor said oh my god this is the worst case um, I've never seen this and he was like well why didn't you go to the doctor and of course I told him I went to the doctor I went to a retina specialist which she misdiagnosed me she put eye shots in my eye, which shouldn't have been. Um, from that, she, you know, she didn't put me on any type of static, I think I'm saying that right, like uh, prednisone. She put should have put me on that. She didn't do that. Um, by the time I got there, my both of my eyes were, uh, I had retina detachment from both of my eyes. And... That was just the worst. I had fluid behind my eye. I had very bad headaches. And I just couldn't understand why I was going through this. And still, it's still unknown, the sickness. So, um, from there, uh, he put me on 80 milligrams of prednisone. Now, I went from 150 to 260 pounds for being on the prednisone. I'm not complaining because it helped. It helped a lot. So, after having me on prednisone for three months, uh, he had to give me surgery because all the fluid in my eye, it drained. It was looking, what they were, is quiet. My eye was looking very quiet and... Um, I couldn't get anything else because this other lady, she put um, shots in my eyes, so I couldn't get the treatment that it was supposed to have been. So I had to get these uh, 
balloon implants in my eye which disperse um, a little medicine day by day I can't remember exactly what it's called um, and from that I had um, real bad headaches so I was back and forth at the hospital for the headaches um, I started getting lesions in my eye, in my head you know which is holes if you didn't know um, from the lesions they were coming spot by spot one a lesion there a lesion here a lesion there a lesion there and so back and forth at the hospital fluid on my brain they had to give me a shot in my back to drain the fluid from my brain because it was too much so um, from that uh, he pretty much they pretty much kept me in the hospital so I was I went back and forth back and forth and needless to say I had seven surgeries which is I had glaucoma surgery in both of my eyes um, uh, uh, cataract surgery in both of my eyes and you gotta excuse me that's my son um, and from there uh, it's pretty sad. It's a sad case, but prayer means a lot. Um, I just remember just uh, thinking like, oh my God, I would never see my son's face clearly because, of course, I went completely blind seeing nothing but white. Um, so d during that time, I just back and forth and I hear ringing in my ears I used to sleep with the TV on now I have to sleep with the TV off. well I sleep with the t used to sleep with the TV off now I sleep with the TV on because of the ringing um, it's no way of stopping the ringing in my ears um, my hair is starting to turn white um, those are one of the symptoms um, it's not too many website or support uh, systems that they have out here and it's very little for a person to find out about it only from the doctors um, I just want to tell you about this one inc incident that I did I went to the emergency room in Washington Hospital Center um, they saw the lesions in my head they said okay well wait a minute um, you have MS because they saw seven lesions in my head because you know, I had the tingling in my fingers, um, tingling in my toes, um, and one of my eyeballs was doing something. But knowing I should have went back to John Hopkins, it's like 45 minutes of where I live at, I didn't. So they tried to press me out to give me some type of medicine for MS, which is if you get medicine with for MS, you have to keep taking it even if they misdiagnose you there's nothing else that you could possibly do you just gotta keep taking it as far as I know um, so I was like okay well in the emergency I mean in the hospital for two or three days and talk with the radiology or whatever I talked to the guy and he the one of the doctors he told me listen if you don't get this MS treatment you're pretty much not going to be here too long and so I said well let me just let me just give it a second or uh, let me just get a second opinion thank God I did thank God I did um, having a prayer in church pray for me every day I thank God for that because now um, I could pretty much I can see um, not too clearly. I'm colorblind. Like, I can't tell from pink to red, uh, from blue to green. Um, uh, if I was to drive, I couldn't drive at night. It's become a very big toll on my life. Um, if the lady would have had treated me from the first run of specials that I went to, um, I wouldn't have had the retina detachment 
from my eyes and I hope this information leads you guys to um, always get a second opinion and know exactly what this sickness is is very bad you know um, it's something that took a real big toll if you don't catch it in time um, they say that um, Native Americans get it um, people over in the islands um, Chinese people people that have like a middle tone skin I don't know it's just uh, I'm trying to give you as much information that I can um, I haven't met anybody that had my sickness ever <laughs> It's like I'm out here all alone. They said I'm the 18th person, but I doubt it. You know how when you say, oh, well, listen, I have Indian in my family. I'm okay. Do you have VKH? <laughs> because that's something that, something is in the blood, I suppose. But um, let me see, is there anything else I would like to tell you guys? Um you can just leave me a message if you feel like um, that you have any of those symptoms or maybe look it up and if you do have it I'll be more than happy to hear from you um, because I haven't I haven't heard anybody that has the sickness I haven't met anybody I would like to uh, at least exchange notes of what they went through and what I've been through and which I pretty much told you like the overseas of everything that, that I've been through but my my thing is please don't let them diagnose you if you're having these problems real bad headaches and if you they tell you you have lesions um, and something's wrong with your eyes or um, if you having uh, tingling in your fingers uh, floaters anything of that sort please go to John Hopkins um, don't let them give you that MS medicine I'm thinking that you know some people out here they have they don't have MS they probably have VKH which is von Kornagi Harada and it, it makes me sad because the doctors they were so for sure that I had VKH I mean the people from Washington Hospital Center so I'm asking you to get a second opinion or at least if you have any spots in your eyes real bad headaches go get a second opinion go to John Hopkins <laughs> my doctor that I'm seeing his name is Dr. Nguyen he was a, he's a true blessing because I got my eyesight back after seven surgeries and of course I have to have three more now you know coming up so peace and blessings love you guys I hope my information had really helped you All right, thank you bye